welcome back as our playthrough of Pokemon Soul Silver. We had defeated Bruno of the Elite Four in a rematch. He had Hitmontop, Hitmonlee, Hariyama, Machamp, Lucario, and Hitmonchan all in the 60s. Next, we take on the Dark Master Karen, who is like a hubba hubba, mm, ooh la la. She also has a handful of Pokemon in the 60s and will be the toughest of the Elite Four yet. Second only to Lance, who's the champion, who is going to be a, a very difficult opponent. Um, our Pokemon lineup consists of a handful of Pokemon that probably won't do much here. Espeon is going to have to sit this one out entirely. Entei, Raikou, Suicune, they're going to do what they're going to do, but I don't think there's a whole lot they're going to be able to pull off. We can benefit from some of the dual elements, though. For example, she has a Weavile that's dark and ice, so Entei would be well off on that one. Haunchcrow, dark and flying. Raikou will take that one on. Houndoom, dark and fire. So Suicune will take that one on. But the Absol, the Umbreon, and the Spirit Tomb will be a little tougher. Skarmory probably won't do much in this fight, but I might give him a shot. We'll see. For it, you're going to go out first, though, because you have all three elements. Let's see how it goes. I am Karen of the Elite Four. Your mark? How amusing. I love Dark-type Pokemon. I'm known for my overpowering tactics. Think you can take them? Just try to entertain me. Let's go. Something that she said was very BDSM, and I feel like she'd be into it. Plus the fact that she's got Dark Pokemon. I know what she's into. Those high heels. Yeah. Stomp on me. <laughs> Stomp on me, Dark Mummy. All right, Weavile, level 62. Uh, that's a new one for her, I think. I don't recall she had this one before. Uh, we've got Flamethrower. I still don't understand how Fur can pull that off, but I find it hilarious that he can, so we're going to use that to our benefit. That won't be a knockout, because he doesn't have a great special attack, but it did more damage than I thought. And you're burned. I do expect that we're probably going to run into a... Ooh, that's a knockout. Oh, it didn't do very much. That was because low kicks of fighting moves, not. If I can attack here, we're good. If not, it's because Karen's about to use a full restore. Oh, thank God. Cool. Not a bad first fight. Weavile was put down. Nighty night. Absol. Okay, this is. Mm, I don't know what it knows. Okay, we'll keep it up. I would benefit from putting Raikou out there using Thunder Wave and trying to paralyze these guys. That might be useful. I am going to Thunderbolt him, though. Also, it doesn't make a lot of sense. How can you summon fire, let alone Thunderbolt's electricity? That's right, we'll pull this off again. I do love Thunderbolt as an attack, though. Won't do very much. Okay, I'm good at that. Yeesh. wasting my power points. I thought Absol would be available in Mount Silver, but apparently you can only get it through, like, the, uh... What is it? The Hoenn sound, I think? Or is he Sinnoh? I can't remember which one. Sinnoh or Hoenn. I don't remember what generation he was. I thought he was a third generation Pokemon, but maybe he's fourth. I don't... I don't remember. Let's go ahead and do Strength. You bastard. Running out of uh, power points, though, across my move set for Furret, I'm gonna have to restore those if I can. Nice. All right, Furret, you've done well. Take a rest. Spiritomb. Uh, Spiritomb is not a dark type, though, is it? Let me find out. I don't know anything about that Pokemon except that it's a ghost. It is a dark type. Damn it. Okay. I mean, that makes sense. I just didn't expect it. Raikou, you're going to go out for this one, because chances are she's going to use Spirit Tomb and then jump right into Haunch Crow. No, I'll probably Houndoom, because Houndoom... Well, we'll see. Houndoom's level 63. If she's going in... Well, she's not really going in order, is she? Way more damage than I expected. Oh, it survived. I don't want to use a Thunderbolt on that. That's the part that sucks. Um, I'm going to throw Skarmory out here. I don't know if that's wise. 
Probably not. But I want to get him in the game a little bit, and that should be fine. Unless Karen wants to use a full restore here. Damn it, I knew she was going to do it. I heard it in my head before she pulled it off. Karen, you freaking punk. Give me your phone number for sure. Let's talk. Let's go out. Uh, let's try Steel Wing. It'll do barely any damage. Sizable. That's fine. The curse won't last long because I'm going to remove him in a second. All right, Pokemon. For it, you got this. Go ahead and slap on a Surf on this one. I need a full restore on him anyway. That'll not only restore his health, but it'll also get rid of his affliction. She used one, I'll use one. Build these nuts. Brilliant. Furret is so remarkably well rounded. I just, I find it so freaking funny that he can do some of these moves. Nice. Alright, Furret could probably do okay against Houndoom here with Surf, but I want to give Sweet Sweetcoon some spotlight. not even going to be able to fight back. That's a one-hit KO there. I was worried about Karen at first, but once I realized that she had dual elements for her Pokemon, it was over. It was easy to target that. I have level advantage too, I know, but I still would have played the same game. Where are you? There you are. Raikou's in rough shape too. He's only got half H, H Pizzle. The next fight's not going to be so easy. I have nothing against dragon types that'll do well. I'll be able to survive the uh, the dual type situations okay, but for the most part, his dragon team and Lance is going to be a pain. And his Pokemon are way stronger than everybody else. They're in the 70s, mostly. Yeah, he's got some tough ones. I don't. I honestly am worried. I don't know if I'm going to be able to defeat him. Um. Yeah, Entei didn't really get the spotlight here. Let's try this now, see how he goes. This is far from being backed into a corner. I would disagree. Also, Umbreon had that, like, kind of cute little kitty pose where he had that, like, his, I don't know, his fangs were showing. That was funny. I never noticed he had that animation. That's fine. That's not fine. Oh, thank God. You're no ordinary trainer to have gotten this far. Yeah, we've done this fight before. There we go. Excellent. Yeah, these fights take way too long. I don't think I'm going to have to grind the Elite Four. It's just not efficient. Well, aren't you good? I like that in a trainer. Yeah, give me them digits, girl. Let's do this.
Strong Pokemon, weak Pokemon, that is only the selfish perception of people. Truly skilled trainers should try to win with the Pokemon they love best. I like your style. You understand what's important. Go on. The champion is waiting. Yeah, I wasn't worried about that being tough. Um, but let's go ahead and use some Hyper Potions. I think... Yeah, we're going to need everything that we can get. The team needs to be completely, like, healed up. Raikou's going to need some Thunderbolt because he's... We've got some flying Pokemon. I think that'll be really helpful. Dragonite, Charizard, Altaria. Those... Raikou's going to shine on those guys. Gyarados as well as a water type. Garchomp is a ground one, right? Ground Dragon, so we should be able to do well with Suicune there. He's not rock, is he? Salamence is pure dragon, I think. Maybe dragon flying? Do I have any other health items? Or health needs? Okay, and then let's take a look at... Uh, Elixir. Soars the PP of all the moves learned by the target Pokemon by 10 points each. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and pop that on... Furret. We're gonna pop that on Raikou. And I think we're good. All right, short video as to be expected. The battle is done. The next one is going to be entirely dramatic to say the least. We'll go ahead and save it, of course. And we'll jump into that in the next episode of the playthrough. If you did enjoy this episode, though, despite its short length, you can show your love by hitting the like button. Do not forget to subscribe. Any feedback for me, leave in the comment section. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Also, don't forget to take a look at the description box. There's some links that might be of interest to you, one of which is a link to the Mark and Nine Community Discord server. If you want to be part of that group, you can chat with me directly. Otherwise, just know that I appreciate you and your time and hope to see you when we continue with more of our playthrough of Soul Silver. All right, guys. That's it for me. Take care. Be well. See you next time. Later.